There's a theory among the brilliant philosophers of high school boys and girls that when faced with the question of what do you want to be when you grow up, that the best answer is whatever brings in the most cash, that success walks hand in hand with the green faces of dead presidents in your pocket, like a fifth date, moonlit picnic, that when you're talking about sense in a career, you must be speaking of the copper coins collected in a piggy bank. So I used to hide my aspirations in silence like a lucky penny behind my teeth. See, they told me that teaching was nothing but a safety net to catch the falling corpses of dead dreams because there wasn't much profit in it. They asked me, Brian, what would you even do if you taught high school? So I told them. I would teach my kids to hold pencils like the stems of daffodils and watch as they pollinate across pieces of paper. I would teach them that paper is cheap, but the message of living within the lines can be worth more than diamonds. I would show them how to find diamonds in the rough faces of a bully. I would sit that bully down before his next act of cruelty and just talk to him. Just let him know that it's okay to cry sometimes that his tears are just wet fists in his quest to conquer apathy. I would speak of the conquerors of old. They were vanquished when they got too greedy, and how each one of us needs to remember that. I would make them remember the dates of history like the birthdays of the present, and how they are the clay we use to sculpt today. I would teach them of carpe diem. Seize the day. Grab it in your fingertips and squeeze the sunrise out of it so you can drink it in that much smoother. I would help a young man like me see the sunrise within himself. Like it's August 2011 and he's strutting in the first day of class wearing a smirk that spoke swagger but eyes that screamed the opposite, I would open those eyes. I would help him see the opposites of poet and athlete not only attract but sometimes, sometimes they'll dance. Waltzing their way into a wedding reception where courage and fear sit down and celebrate their beautiful matrimony in poetry. I would teach them poetry. How alliteration can bounce, boom and blast louder than any boombox. I would draw him from his box in cocoon and watch him claw his way out a butterfly. I would help him net the monarchs swirling within his stomach and coax them back into the mic with his tongue. I would sharpen those tongues, but tell him to never cut with it. That it's a sculpting tool used to lay down hope like the bricks of St. Peter's. I would teach him to stand taller than any cathedral. And when he's on stage, he shines brighter than the pearly gates. I would help him open the pearly gates in his smile on those days he feels closed off from the clouds. And, and God's touch seems so damn far away. I would make him hug mirrors until he finally learned to love himself. I would educate the stars back into his skin, the wind, back into his lungs as proof that there is still so much sky in his breath that each love-scented breeze that falls from his lips just kisses the ground, making it that much softer for the next person walking by that he is the beauty found in the turning of a page. They asked me where the, where the prophet was in teaching. I told them that you're looking at him. Yeah. <laughs>